No. Trying to get my other rod ready. You're not bad. We got another one, I think. Yeah, there's another one there. That'd be my fourth fish now. Oh, no. That's a bit of a better one. That's four fish out of this one hole, sir. Two before I even had the camera going. Really? <laughs> Hole's producing pretty good. Even here, I don't know, 10 minutes, guys, fishing. And that's, uh, that's four or five fish straight out of this one hole. I haven't even got fully set up. It was, it was good, pretty good again. Line number two, made this up last night. <laughs> you just reel in a bit. You can give her a couple jigs. Just a set line is all. Let a little bit of line out and uh, you're fishing. So we're gonna be living in half luxury here today. It's not not too cold out today, but um, you know, it's always nice to get up off the ice. So we got a seat here with a cooler in the bottom and uh, we're gonna sight fish this hole, or I am at least. Sadly, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see in it just because of the glare and everything. But yeah, we're gonna try it, give her a go. Look at the size of that trout. Oh, no. Come back. Oh. That was sick. I just sight fished him. Look at that fish. What a beautiful fish. Nice brook trout. Let's get him back. Ooh. There he goes. That was so cool. Not much water here at all. It's more than enough line there. Once that hole clears up a bit, you know, we can uh, we can sight fish. I hope I got that there on video. I forgot to hit 0.5 on the camera, so it was just a normal view there. But I still got a video of the fish nonetheless, so it's all right. Let's give this rod a check. Still got enough bait. There's a lot of fish in this pond, guys. Lots of fish. Like, there's two other feathers here fishing it. I know who they are. There's lots of fish are having a pretty good day as well. Tons of fish here. Like I said, me and Fred, though, we're still going for catch and release. Just, you know, we got no need to keep some trout right now. That's all. I really want to get a fish on that. Like, real bad. That's just my view here, just above the hole. You can just see my jig there. Pretty sure you guys can see it as well. MFS teardrop jig, the chartreuse in red. We're just giving her a jig every now and then. Like I said, last time we heard, it was 14 inches of ice. Now there's like, like six, still safe, but this pond's not deep anyway, if we were to fall in, but we wouldn't have a good day by no means. Oh, getting a bit over there. Let's see, is he on? I just had one. No, that's crazy. Might've felt me coming on to vibrations or something and he, he swam away. Oh, he's there again, though. So can we sight fish him, maybe? No, I don't think we can sight fish him, but he's down there. That's crazy how he just never came back. Just never came back. Might not be a rhyme or reason to it. He just never wanted to eat it again. Still got the same amount of bait on there as when he first came. Anyway. Let's get back over to my other rod, and if we see her go, we'll come back. Alrighty, nothing over there. Let's get jigging again. Is he on there? Well, he was certainly toying with it, let me tell you. So watch that. The line's sitting over there. Guarantee you he'll move that now in a second. And there's gotta be like little minnows picking at this. It can't be trout. Oh, nope, it's trout. Oh, he's pretty. Nice 
Look at that beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I try to take care of him, guys. I try to take care of him. <laughs> Alrighty. This is the setup. Line on the other side of Fred. That's my uh, two by four line. Got another line right there. And this one here, I'm just watching. It's not bad. Definitely a good day for it. Definitely a good day for it. A few fish biting and uh, absolutely nothing to complain about. She gone? Is it really? Just how I wanted her to? Oh my goodness, look at that. I think he's off. He just unraveled my line. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Well, we finally had the first fish on the trout slayer. He, uh, he took some line there and I just never got a good hook set, that's all. Next time, I'm just gonna grab the whole thing and pull. So we'll get him next time, he'll be back. You got a taste of that big juicy worm, he'll be back. I got him? I don't know if I got him. Oh, I had him, I think. Whew, that was cool. Shut up, Fred. <laughs> Dude, it looks like the same fish again. What a pretty fish, sir. There's only another one down there. Gone again, though. Mandy's fish are weird, I tell you. Oh, it's been a minute. Let's check this guy. I'm willing to bet not a darn thing. Oh, I don't know. He's moving. Something took him. Oh my goodness, he took that for a ride and I never knew. Look at the line. That's a nice trout. It's a pretty looking trout. Oh, I didn't mean to drop him. Did not mean to drop him. He does with this here. Now this is a little overkill for the little brook trout, but that's 30 pound braid. Just cause that's some little bit of extra I line around the house. Not enough to uh, fill a spool. So I said, you know what? I might as well utilize it ice fishing instead of, you know, throwing it in the garbage or something. You just reel in to uh, the amount you want. So it leaves her there and he'll take it. Or you can wrap it around that screw and then it sets the hook automatically. Which is what I might do in a second. But uh, let's keep fishing. This is awesome so far. As we've been here for like, I don't know, I'll say an hour and a half. And I think I've caught eight to 10 trout. It's really good, really good. It was pretty brook trout again, we're at the same pond. Respectfully, don't ask me where I am, please, because if I tell one person, I have to tell everybody. And uh, I've already seen a lot of people here after my video, and I've had people message me asking they think where it was. Some of them got it, some of them didn't, and that's okay. That's how it is, if you recognize it, you recognize it. But I really don't want this place to get overfished, and it can because there's been people here. But uh, yeah, we're here. It's awesome. I love it. Is he there still? He's hitting it. Yeah, he's hitting it now. Take the spool off the thing if that's easier for you. You got it. I think he's got it. He's just wrapped himself up. Mm -hmm. Like like he's gone down in the moss with it. No, he's not. You can see it? Yeah. Ah. Darn. So he's there though. Okay. Well, guys, I just turned the camera off there, and Fred made a made a stab at him. He's there, little guy, isn't it? Yeah. Still a fish. I guarantee you, you leave it there. He's gonna just take a little bit of line as soon as he lets it go. So you know, you can take her up. He should be on there. <laughs> MFS teardrop, guys. The glow one. I love that bait. Absolutely love it. What a beauty of little trout. Alrighty. Cool. Another one there? Yeah. Oh, Fred. You soaked me. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. He just had, uh, that's his third one in a row, but we never got the second one, so there was no point to just tell you, but I'm going to tell you now. His third one. Oh, oh there we go. For number four, hey? <laughs> Thank you.
No, I think that's it, man. Pretty sure that it just goes around a little schools of like half a dozen, maybe. Boys, Fred went along. He's going for number four. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Just leave her like that. And uh, I like to leave some loose line. So when he pulls, you know you got one then. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Run! I know he's there. Yeah! <laughs> that was the most dramatic. That was so unethical, yeah. Fred. It's actually not bad. Man, that teardrop is doing work. Good thing about this is they hit the snow, it doesn't hurt them. They don't take the slime off or nothing. He's pretty. We'll go on and. Uh, we may have one there again. Who knows, who knows, who knows. The trout are cooperating very well today. Very well. Set a bit of loose line there, so we know when we got one. Perfect, let's go. Yeah, she just went tight. Cause I, uh, I put some slack in her. Give her. He's not there now, is he? No, I can see the hook. Yeah? Is he there, dude? Okay. Him, yeah. Oh, you can see him? Yeah. Hold on, I ain't coming. You can see him? Yeah. Like, did he run up, or did he go away just then because of my vibrations, or what? Like, does that actually matter here? Oh, no. See, and they're hitting it? I don't. The camera might. I don't, but the camera might. <laughs> oh, he's a little skinny one. That's like the first skinny trout I've seen here. Yeah, it's one of the smaller ones. It actually is. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Perfect, buddy. Let's see. Let's see the, the jig, MFS glow jig, little teardrop glow jig. I really like that one. That's doing work for me the past couple of days. One one. Oh, that's Fred's. I just I just had one here. Look, there he is. You can see him there. You can see him there. He's there. Look at him. He won't eat it though. He must be something small. He won't eat it. Oh, have you got it? So we just had like a decent fish down below that hole. So I pulled her up so I can maybe get an on camera for you guys. See if I'll come back. I hope he comes back. It was a nice fish. It's weird here, man. Like the trout here. Usually if they come you'll aggressively jig to try to get them. But here, me and Fred both find if you just dead stick it, they'll come around. Even like if they were just there. They're so weird, but it's really cool. Somewhat of a challenge to fish them, honestly. And it might not seem like it because like, you know, we're catching a nice few, but that's, that's just the way it is. Sometimes they're, they're really easy to catch here. Sometimes they're hard and that's just fishing. That's the fun of it. Well, that one went, uh, that one went tight. He's not there, I don't see him. Sometimes if he does that, little jig, they'll come around. And then you leave it, you dead stick it. Like I was just talking about. No, I don't think he's there now, though. There we go. He's got to be on this one, right? Let's see. Let's see, now. It was just there. I'm pretty sure you guys could see that. That's so weird. He's so finicky. He might have been hooked already or something, right? You don't know what these fish. Is he still there? Oh, he came off. Okay, he'll come back. He'll come back. Yeah? Oh, you got the ice. Oh, I hooked the you ice. Got the ice. <laughs> I want to hold and not be hooked the ice. Phone call, Freddy. Wait a second now. I'm going to see if I catch this. <laughs> All right. Round 642 at this one. I don't even see in there, do you? It was getting bit. I can tell you that for certain. I was watching it. And we're not too far away. The chair's only right there. I'm going to go check my, my uh, flank set, and you, you let me know if he comes back. What is this, man? 
Is he there? I think he's there. Oh, right out of his mouth. I actually set the hook just down like a bass fisherman. Some small trout. It's gotta be a particularly small fish. That is like the smallest trout in this pond, I swear. What the heck? You guys can see him snatching my lure up, I hope. I hope he quit, because that's a real small trout that I don't want to hook, because I might hurt him. We're getting a nice bit of snow coming here now. Um, the fishing has turned off ever since we've had this snow coming down, which is really weird. Never never really seen that, especially the ice fishing, but you know, maybe a pond this shallow, it actually makes a difference. So I don't know, it's weird, but they've uh, they're shut right off. I've had two bites since it started snowing, probably a half hour. 45 minutes, really, but it's weird, so weird. Is he there? Oh yeah, he's there. Get him. Get him, Brett. Get him, Brett. Hey, get that worm chewed up. Yeah. <laughs> Little. Hey, Fred? Yeah, I'm going to Coleman's to get my fish. He's going to Coleman's to get his fish. Anyway, that was a particularly good day on my half. This is how that place is. They come around to schools to pick a hole, and that's the holes you get success with. And it just so happened to be my holes today. So yeah, it was a particularly good day. Nothing to complain about. Bunch of beautiful brook trout yet again. And uh, it's Newfoundland ice fishing. Hope you enjoyed.